what is going on y'all we are back again for another episode review of survivor y'all what's going on y'all hey 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 this is survivor season 46 episode three wackadoodles win okay <laughs> this was good this was overall it was a, good a great one. episode yes was, yes 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 um didn't end the way we thought it was gonna end, but it, you know, it, 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 it left. I mean, it ended the way it ended. Should I say it ended the way that it ended? Um, somebody still ended up going home, but again, it wasn't the way that we predicted for it to be. Okay. Um, overall, before we get into the deep details of everything, how would you say this episode went? Um, you know, I'm gonna week? say. I'm going to say this. We had some survivor survivor standards. Of course. <laughs> we had. <laughs> what are the survivor uh, standards that we had? Yes. Uh, uh, looking for an immunity idol. Mm -hmm. On the hunt for immunity idol. Somebody got hurt. <laughs> and hanging, hanging, hanging in the balance of, and, and then, and also a tribe really not knowing who to vote the next person out like that was a that was probably one of the wildest scrambles i've seen in a long time and and over some of these seasons that scramble that we saw so those are the standards it was actually a really wonderful episode and i think it showed a lot a big a wider view of uh other people on the tribes let me see. I am trying to. I mean, still undefeated. <laughs> yes. Okay. Who? Not me. Who <laughs> <laughs> would have said not who? Not me, man. <laughs> I ain't mad at him, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hold on. I'm trying to download this so I can say this. Y'all got to forgive me. It's a last minute. Now I ask the size that I want to get this and download this and pull this up so we can have this in the background to talk about while we are talking. Okay. I'm just going to pull this up and I'm going to have this to kind of like um, keep us, you know, so you'll have a little Focused. visual as we're giving you the gist of the things that went down. Okay. Um, so let's just sort of get on into it. Okay. We'll start off a little bit, you know, tribe by tribe. Of course it started, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, of course, again, with the tribe that last went to, to tribal council, we starting off with the, the Yanu tribe. Okay. Now Banu, Banu's pissing me off. Okay. Banu's pissing me off only because he's losing sleep. He don't know what to do. He, he's Banu so emotional. Came in here with a good heart. He becomes emotional, baby. <laughs> he came in here with a good heart. I get it. You you came in with the heart of wanting to play the game, which is great. That's all good. That's that's. Oops, gosh darn it! I meant to take off the background part of it, Monique. Make it transparent. Anyways, so y'all gonna see what I'm saying. But like I said. Banu does not have no good real game plan. Okay. He's going to, was it Kenzie that he went to? And well, I yes. take that back. Let's get into right after tribal council. Okay. So they fresh okay. back from yes. tribal council and they're basically having to smooth things over with Banu because he was completely caught off guard by the blind side to get, um, old girl out. Right. Because yes. he thought, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, because he thought that you know, whatever reason it was going to be him to go, blah 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 blah. So he was completely blindsided from that. So, of course, that's leaving him like I I'm at the bottom and, and nobody likes me, nobody wants me. But they're trying to explain to him, like, look here, <clears throat> doc, you talk too much, yeah, you talk. Yeah, I too know much. it just is, there's no either easy way to say it or softer mm -hmm. way to say it, you just need the straightforward. He's right. very emotional and talks a lot. And it's and nothing to filter it. You, as, as a person, that don't make you a bad person. That just means we cannot trust you enough for you not to screw up the plan should we have a plan. Because that had that been a real idol that Jess had, that would have completely blew up their spot. And that would have 
blew up their whole plan to get her out in the first doggone place. You know what I'm saying? But, and again, I understand that that, so of course that's causing him to lose sleep. He's stressed out. He don't know what to do. He goes to Kenzie, Kenzie, help me. In his, in his gorgeous do. sweater. I don't know what to do, Kenzie. Kenzie, help me. I'm like, and Kenzie is like, okay, so tell me what what plan do you have and, and what what is it that you want to do? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And then Kenzie's even like, <laughs> so, so you see how that's kind of hard for me to work with? <laughs> and I was feeling that when she when said, you, when like, you can't no, bring me, me anything. You. When you can't, yeah, exactly. You can't bring me anything. I, this is reciprocal this is how it works you can't just say like what do i do i mean you could because later on q brings up a great historical partnership (laughs) that we mentioned last week yeah that you mentioned it absolutely (laughs) yes do i have it right this time yes okay we have it right this time okay so, Look at his tears. Look at his face. I know. His polar lobe tears. He's emotional. But like I said, he's running to Kenzie for advice or whatnot. Now, what I found funny is that he said that Kenzie is half mermaid, half dragon. 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 <laughs> he did the whole dramatics <laughs> to it, okay? Banu, I think I've seen on, um, I was watching somebody's podcast, and basically, like, he's in the running for the fan favorite right now. Banu is, which that's shocking to me, only because, like I said, he got on my goddamn nerve. He got on my goddamn nerve. Now, Q does, you know, he basically has to reassure Banu that look here, we're in a good place right now, you know. And and he tells Q like, you know, I'm I'm so crazy. I think all over the place. Like I'm 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 like a wackadoodle. And <laughs> you tell him, you know, wackadoodles win. You know that just hence the title of the, the episode or whatnot. And so. Q then brings up that partnership. He was like, you know, think how Boston Rob had Philip. Like, you could be my Philip. Like, and like, Q was like, he sees the potential as in he can be somebody that I can shape and I can mold. I can tell him what game plans need to happen. And as long as he's not stupid and he don't fuck it up, it could work for us. Uh, this is a remix because he gave Jess a similar speech last week. <laughs> He did, didn't he? <laughs> he did. He did. Q, we catching on to you, bro. But Q did talk about, you. you know, how the, the the losses are hard for him because he was a D1 athlete. Mm-hmm. And he did talk about how he was supposed to be the star football player of his high school and he fumbled the ball. And the next day it was in the, the paper. His last name, somebody fumbles. That's gotta be and this. and so yeah. that was the the trauma the inner uh-huh. child that was coming up that revealed itself on the island for q now i bet you especially if somewhere that he's from is a big football town he sounds right like here. he's southern like he's from texas it sounds yeah, like he's say, from, he from texas yes. okay look at Warren. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if he was from somewhere like here austin and it was a UT game against like o- Oklahoma City or, or A&M or something. And you fumble. Yeah, it's going to be everywhere. They ain't going to let yeah. you live that down. Like Tennessee versus a Bama. Couple days. Tennessee versus Bama. You don't do that. Yeah. Tennessee Bless versus heart, Florida. Too. You don't do that. Mm-hmm. So that was triggering for him. And that's why he took it so hard. Like he was. It, was it at the end of this episode? Basically, like he damn near wanted to sacrifice himself. I'm like, look, don't put yourself up for tribute, my nigga. Like, calm down, hold on. <laughs> it ain't Hunger Games like that, in this bitch. Calm down now. You taking it a little bit too serious. <laughs> I feel him now. You know, you you don't fall on the sword though, down, my nigga. Calm Please, down. Don't still... don't say, don't save. Don't be a hero. Not a don't survivor. Do that. So that's what's going on over there. They're just a hot mess over there. They got to get it together. So they all just, just, and that was the thing about Banu because he didn't see the blind side. And then he finds out that Jess was playing the game and he wasn't because he thought, uh, 
he didn't know that Jess wrote his name down. He thought everyone was coming for him to the point, like we said last time, he saw his name and he picked up his damn water bottle he and was getting ready. And put it on over his shoulder and was ready. Get up out that bitch. So he, did, he didn't understand the voting. He was like, it was almost like, he's like, Jess lied? Yes, Banu, because this is the game. Like, yes, she lied. She did, to your face. As everybody else on your tribe has already. Which is why he like watched Survivor before he came on. Is this like <laughs> he has? He should know. Like I, I would just be damned if you haven't seen Survivor yet. <laughs> like it's, it's it, at, at, it's at, at this season of Survivor, that makes absolute no damn sense. Forty six. It says 46. 46. This has been on 20 plus years. 46. It makes no damn sense that your ass <clears throat> don't know how this game go and don't know the purpose and they of different the game. Franchises, so it's not like it's just an American show. They got different franchises. <laughs> they got Australia, UK, KU, OKC. They got everything. ABC, they got it all. Mexico how City. You, how you not know? <laughs> So that's going on with the Anu tribe, Sega tribe, the Sega tribe. Okay, everybody's out idol hunting. Okay, trying to his- get up together to look for the idol together. That's what Mariah said. <laughs> they are Charlie and his angels. Everybody's out, you know, idol they hunting didn't. or whatnot. But Gemma, out. <laughs> Jim is the one that actually finds the the beware challenge. I mean, the, be, the beware right. advantage. But she ends up keeping it a secret to herself, which I am mad at her because you know you you. It's to me at least. If I were to find an advantage or or an out or anything, regardless if I have an alliance with somebody at right there, it's still early in the game as individuals. I'm not gonna say nothing to no goddamn body because somebody could easily sabotage you. I mean, if Easy. I have an idol, period. I would not say anything. You can't. Either. You you even the oh, person you goodness. trust the most, you cannot say anything. The person you trust the most is who you don't say shit to. Because mm -hmm. no, that you know, say, just... no pink lemonade. It's because they know <laughs> what you got in your pocket, and at any time they could blow up your spot, whether it be intentionally, intentionally or unintentionally. Or them even trying to take their own ass and they gotta blow up your spot. Nope. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Not gonna do it. So Gemma finds it. She ends up keeping it to herself and she waits until everybody falls asleep to go back and to read it. And it was, is my, my thing lagging? It is, it is. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Let me yeah, turn yeah, my yeah. camera off for a minute. Um but um, like it's I said, she's lagging is a bit, but that's okay. Wait for everybody to go to sleep. What's can you I can hear, hear you now? I can hear you now. Okay, my apologies. Let me make sure my son <laughs> ain't in here with fifty eleven hundred goddamn devices. Wait, look, you know, oh, my phone. she waits till everyone is asleep. She goes digging where she found it, and she found the box. Yeah, and she has to wait because so now there's that dilemma of. Because they say you you lose your vote, mm -hmm. and you have to wait until your team loses immunity for you to get the next clue, which was so quick for Tiffany because she was on Yanu. But right. when you're the it's two teams that are consistently winning, do you throw a challenge? And that's going to look suspicious because we're this is y'all are solid. Now we know Nami mm -hmm. and Sega are. And give it to Yano this this episode we get to later, but it's consistent it's just been Sega and Nami neck and neck. So if any one of those two threw a challenge, because yeah. Cause didn't Randon find it last week? Yeah, Randon found it last week. So now and Nami and Sega both have found it, but neither one of them have considered that the person who's found it has considered throwing a challenge. But this, yes. I wouldn't throw the challenge only because 
as long as you're winning, you don't have, you have to, to worry you. about it. So that's something that's you have, have the, you have that. the clues. So it's not like anybody else is going to find the clues. You're right. Exactly. You, you can go couple of days as long as y'all win it you can let these fools hell i'll go out and idol hunt with you let's all go out and look for the idol shit yeah, let's do I'm gonna be, if anything i'm gonna be playing you know it, it, I'm, I'm gonna go help you find some shit that i already got in mm -hmm. my pocket exactly as long as we winning you know what i mean you always gonna have that ammo in your back pocket. That's how I see. It. I don't feel like it would be smart for them to throw a challenge. Not right now. That mm -hmm. that is it's too early in the game. Now, once they you know is getting closer to merge, then I would be like, okay, it would be in my best interest to at least have this idol before we all go to a merge. That's when I would worry about it. But right now, where I'm still early, and especially while we got this good momentum, we winning. Mm -mm, that's not smart mm -hmm, to do that. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that could come back and bite you in your ass. It definitely, it always does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what's going on with them. So the Nami tribe, okay? The Nami tribe, Hunter is like Captain, Captain Super Saver Ho around there. He's making <laughs> beds. He fishing. He hunting, he building stuff. He's a carpenter. He's like, he's, he's, he's got it going on. Now he's actually got puzzles and stuff. Didn't, was it him that said he had? So, different yes. So he went into his whole backstory because prior to that, Venus was talking about like, there's, a, there's always one every season. There's always this mm -hmm. big buff muscular guy who's like oh, yeah. helping around Zach camp. Morris and looking ass. You can't vote me off because I help around camp and I take oh, yeah. care of business. And he was making a bed uh, to the point where Tevin was like, make me a, a Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> I know so, what I'm saying, too. So he hates it to really himself fun. and he's talking about like he doesn't want to reveal how smart he really is to his tribe. Uh, he, does, he doesn't want to reveal that he was actually had a full ride to med school. And yeah. he got a chance to substitute for his sister back in his hometown, fell in love with teaching and said, bye, bye, full ride to med school. Hello to teaching. And through that also, he noticed, I noticed his students were making stuff. A lot of his students were making his puzzles because he teaches like yep. sh wood shoppers. Yes, that so is so all cool. All these different types of puzzles you can think of on Survivor. He set them all. He had the tree ones where you're trying to make a tree shape. He has the <laughs> He was ready. He's he doesn't want to reveal that part of himself either, yep. but he re like he is a super fan in that aspect, but he's so to himself. He even builds challenges at home. He's got like dozens of dozens upon dozens of puzzles and all this <laughs> of survivor puzzles that he has built and he's put together. So we need to keep that in our back pocket. So if we, if they ever have, like, we gotta, if mm -hmm. they ever have like a forties, and over no swimming survivor challenge type thing. We need to holler at Hunter on these games here. Because please believe I'm going to be stuck on stupid when it comes to some of these games that they be doing out there. I ain't going to lie. I'm I'm I messed the whole thing up. Now, I'm good Venus, at puzzles. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, good. I could do that, but I can't swim. So I'm good at puzzles, but can't swim well. Some puzzles I am good at. I'll, I'll give that. Now, when it comes to like the building, the block pieces, putting them together, I'm good at those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm, good at those. Mm -hmm. Now Venus sees through the bullshit. She's trying to pull in <laughs> random to vote out Hunter. Cause she like, I'm not hell now. Nah. Y'all not finna give me with this old Captain America blue eyed, blonde haired devil type shit that you try to do. She's trying to pull <laughs> random in, right? Random woke, She's woke saying, up. Hunter and Tevin have too many connections. That's right. Yes. Which is true. Now she calls Hunter. I mean, I'm sorry, not Hunter. She calls Tevin the king of the camp. Tevin is cool with soda. That's his right hand girl. Then you got Hunter. So them three is locked in right there. Right now, Venus, as we know, she's out here on the side and Randon himself is sort of like a free agent. Okay. So of course she's trying to pull in Randon. So the both of these, it'll have, they'll have two votes that they can put on Hunter at least. Right now, um, what's his name? Randon wakes up and he says that he's not having any feeling. He's lost feeling in his right hand. 
um, down to his arm or his right arm down to his hand. And so when it comes to, you know, the next challenge that they have, he ends up sitting out because the medics think that maybe he has some nerve damage or, you know, different things like that. So they want him to sit out um, while they do this challenge or whatever. Right. So, which, you know what I was watching, um, this is this guy that I watch on YouTube. Oh, Rob has, I'm that sorry, was another, ahead. that was another survival standard. Medical shows up. Medic, <laughs> medical. You need a medic. <laughs> That's what it was. It's that somebody got hurt. Medical. I and miss home with the, the medic. long braids from <laughs> early seasons. I miss her. I do. <laughs> Don't you love whenever Propsy got to come in with the medic and Propsy looking all serious? So I yeah. y'all tell me what's going on. So what is it looking like, Doc? I'm like, look at Propsy trying to look all serious and style. You so cute, Propsy. Yeah, I'm trying to care. So sweet. Look at you trying to care. That's so cute, Propsy. So the little medic told him to like sit out or what not. That was cute. That was real cute. Oh, that's what I was saying. Um, Rob has a podcast. That's the name of his YouTube channel. He does a lot of after shows. He does after shows like to the traders and to survivor and like just different shows. He actually did, um, uh, an after show last week with fishback. You remember fishback? Fishback vaguely. was yeah, vaguely he, tall, goofy, skinny guy with the glasses. He was on way back a um, couple of seasons or whatnot, but he was like this really awkward kind of guy or whatnot, but he had did, um, um, like I said, the after show last week with Rob and what were they talking about? Oh, one of the things that he had brought up was like, and we'll find out, you know, like, or you know what? Well, no, I'll go ahead and say it and I'll say something for later. Anyways, I feel like what they used to do in the past, whenever somebody was hurt, they would, you know, take them, do whatever test, and then the person was able to come back. Now it's like right, they right, right, right. they're gone. Like you gotta wait till the next season. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you can leave, you have a little break or whatnot, and you it's still like liability. It's like I, there must have something that happened that something changed. They just right. decided, like, no, we can't play that game no more. Yeah, you gotta leave. But you can come back, just That's heal up and then up. come back. That's messed up. Probesy probably decided it. <laughs> well, I know it probably was you, Probesy. It's all good. I still love you, though, Probesy. It's just, it's just us. This is an excuse to say Probesy. <laughs> but the the medics saw thought that it was a nerve in the arm that could be connected all the way to his neck. Mm -hmm. So that's why they wanted to play it cool for him. They just didn't know how and how what the come out would be. But they had an MRI scheduled for that the next morning, mm -hmm. so they were on it. And then I had seen um, the same uh, an interview last week with Randon, and he was saying that he was downplaying how bad the pain actually was. He said if you could actually see when he's in his confessional talking, how he stays looking at a straight, you know, a certain area. He said anytime he were to turn that the pain like was so bad it was pinching on the back of his neck so and then I, I actually made me go back and look and see and like fast forward to some of his confessionals and you can see he was just in one like one position the whole position time just yeah he wasn't like you know moving his head talking he was just yeah. literally in, in that one place so he said he was downplaying how bad it actually was and then on top of that it he said it took him a while to recover afterwards it wasn't just bam you know wow. the way they made it okay. seem like on the show he said it took him a while to recover afterwards oh, so it was it was okay. pretty bad so when it came to the challenge of course they had him sit out because like you said liability issues they wasn't gonna do that <laughs> and then of course it's a water challenge okay <laughs> all the team members have to cross <laughs> over this big ass goddamn barrel <laughs> Okay, shout out to Tevin. Okay, and shout out to my to my baby sister Jana. Okay, Jana sent me the link, and I, I was able to catch Tevin's live. We were both in Tevin's live. <laughs> shout out to you, Tevin, boo. <laughs> Tevin, say, look here, I'm not a swimmer. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that life. Okay, I just needed to know how to do a little piece of a swim, a little one two step. <laughs> he said, and you look at me and see. That I was barely trying to make it. 
I was watching that part when they had to get in the water. And of course, it's always like, I'm like, what, what is with these goddamn camp gladiator ass challenges? You got to jump off of this and you got to swim here. Then you got to cross the barrel. Then you got to go. <laughs> I'm like, goddamn, Rosie. Camp like gladiators it. is peak 90s summer camp. <laughs> it's camp gladiator. You already know. Titan and, and Venus and Zeus and them, girl. Nitro. Nitro. <laughs> Nitro was my favorite. Nitro and Turbo. Mm. I love me some Turbo. Oh yes, and the black, the black girl. You remember the black girl, Blaze? Yes, with the long braids. Represent, represent. Yes, Come girl. On now. You, you can't tell me about American Gladiators, baby. I was like, oh, she going to take it. Oh, she going to already knew. Which Which Blaze was in there? American Gladiators on um what is that um like one of those old school like uh TV channels Oh I watched it on what was it it came on uh oh no I was watching a documentary on I think it was on Netflix Oh I think it's either Netflix or Hulu about um American Gladiators Mhm I watched that. Mm -hmm. Tell good. me about that. We're gonna. I'm gonna watch. Oh, that. Yeah, we don't have to do that yes, that's that's um, exactly. That's exactly what it was. So playing for immunity and rewards, and the rewards were two toolkits and tarp. That's right. Now Hunter was playing like an American gladiator. That fool was swimming. He was. So, uh, he was. Tevin. He okay, was he was pulling oh, Tevin, oh, and he was pushing oh, Venus while he was swimming. I say, now what in the goddamn Captain America? Captain Planet ass shit is this? How is you swimming to save you? You pushing this heifer and pulling this fool. I say I need him in my life, and he can build me a bed, bed and puzzles for me to keep me occupied. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't get away from that. That boy, what was that man was in there like Aquaman doing it? Okay, so I do course. have a little crush on Hunter, so I like Q and Hunter. <laughs> I think I got a little something, something crush on Hunter. You in there too. Q, you know why I got a little crush, crush on Q? Because Q is such a Southern gentleman. He seems like. Command. He's a leader. Yeah. He takes care yeah. of business. I'm like, and he seems like he takes accountability. Like this man, like I said, he's been a volunteer for tribute just for this challenge here. I was like, oh, don't do it to yourself, brother. But I, that's, I commend you for that. I commend you for that. Um, so, of well, course, before, um, before Hunter was getting, oh, yeah, like Hunter was showing off. But at one point, it was between C, C, Siga and Yanu. Like, Yanu was really making strides. I don't know what clicked. But it finally clicked for all of them. And they were fighting for first. And then Hunter pulled something out of his magic box. <laughs> He, he pulled them all over and then and then the next step after going over the barrel you had to dig up bean bags and hunter just took over like he just was like and he was like talking to everybody and leading everybody i found them i feel them got him took over ran to the next last spot you're supposed to throw the bean bags on top of a pole five had the bean bag sit on top of five things land it took control he did one, two, like, and it was all science. It was all aerodynamic science. I don't know what. That was beautiful. That was sexy to the motherfucker, too. I ain't going to lie. When he, I was like, God dang. All right. Then, Hunter. Right now. Hunter. And you turned out mad school. I am not mad. Okay. Let's let's work that out. Came up in there and saved the good. I wasn't mad at him. Hunter was carrying Nami. <laughs> Took charge, digging, you know, he, found yeah, the skin bags. I say, yeah, and I I, I, I throwed my panties at him. Had a good ass child. I ain't even mad at him. Hunter to be at that. Nami was first place, of course. See, and it's the same. Like it's been for the last three challenges. Nami is first place. Sega second place. Sega still tied up the sandbags, but Charlie got it for Sega versus Q. Yeah, at that sandbags, and so, Yannick was headed to tribal council. Yes, but what happened before then? They had to choose. 
three people, they had to choose some folks, right? So Nami had to choose one person from each tribe to go on a journey, okay? Those people, of course, one person from Nami, one person from Sega, one person from Yanu, they're going to go on a journey. They'll return back to the camp later, right? Now, Nami ends up choosing, what was it, Ben? Was it, No. Ben, Liz, ben and Banu. Ben, Liz, and Banu. It was a it was a, a, a strategic move from the get go for mm -hmm. them to choose Banu. They seen that from the last mm -hmm. from the last um challenge, how emotional he was, and that mm -hmm. was smart of him because I'd have picked up on that shit too. I'd be like, Oh yeah, I want that fool because he got all the people. <laughs> and as soon as they picked him, I said, There we go, that's it. Pack it up, let's go. Banu finna tell everything. They said the same thing. I said, you and Tiffany, I swear. Are you and I Tiffany twins? You just got <laughs> me and Tiffany. We be vibing. Because I already Tiffany. knew. Every time you be saying something and then it cuts to Tiffany, it's <laughs> Tiffany the say, yep, see? Hey, Tim. <laughs> That's my twin. We be vibing on the same day. Because I already knew soon as they pick by new, I say, yeah, it's a wrap. This nigga can tell. <laughs> all the tea and, <laughs> and that's what she said Banu's the worst to be picked to go on the journey and then that's when they had their little huddle Q, Kinsey uh, and, and Tiffany talking about like, I bet you he's doing this he's, he's talking about the, the fake immunity idol he's talking about <laughs> he's blowing now, up Q, our game after the, the, the you know challenge or whatnot again that's when we talk about Q feels horrible he feels like he should have been the one to to lead everybody to victory because he wasn't able to land any of those sandbags that was at the, the very end of the challenge. Like he actually he had to switch places with Tiffany because he got too tired and he said he's trying to get the sandbags up there and it just wasn't landing. So from his standpoint, he's like, it's all on me, you know, and he tells Kenzie and them. Like you, you, you shouldn't even have to vote. Like you should vote for me when we get up there. When I'm saying, I'm like, nigga, don't be stupid. Don't say nothing stupid like that. Like I get it. You, you, you want to be, you know, accountable. You, you. <laughs> well, did they hear you, Jana Boo? Because they on the island calling him Coach Q. <laughs> <laughs> they on the island calling him Coach Q as well. And even Tiffany, <laughs> like, look here. No Tino, she ain't no pink lemonade. They want to call him nigga coach. That's cool. But as far as me, I yeah, she was saying that. He has, like they he has nothing to help my game. But <laughs> they help, they trust him. Like it was just hilarious. That was the best. Tiffany was like, Liz, no shade. Shade with no shade. Like they want to call that nigga coach. Y'all want to rely on him for your game plan. Hey. I don't have to really. That's, that's cool, what I, but after me and mine, y'all have to. But I, I, I ain't doing it. I was right there with her, though. Right Tiffany, there with her. Tiffany was the only other y'all new tribe ha having them stay in the game by putting up the bean bags too, and really yep. finding the bean bags and getting them over the barrels. So she's just as strong. She yeah, she's she, strong. She's not strong. That. Thank you. I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I don't want to put it there, but. It, they're they're different sizes too, mm -hmm. so she she could probably uh, you never know. <clears throat> Had Hunter not came in on that Captain Planet Captain America shit, Tiffany would have won it. She would have, but <clears throat> yeah, Hunter came in and he just he just swept them right on up. Just had to be the hero, Hunter. You had to school to be a teacher and give back to your community. You had to help be a hero during the challenge and take over. Gosh, Hunter, hmm. that'll make him like you no more. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the part that pissed me off. They go on the journey, right? Ben, Liz, and Banu. As soon as they touch down on the goddamn island, they read, Liz reads the do to do to do. You got to do bloop, 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 bloop. And this bitch was smart. After she read everything, she was like, huh, okay. So Banu, who are you doing okay? Anything about you? You want to talk about? Because she said it in the, in her in her talking head. She was like, "I'm just so curious. I'm just so curious about what's going over at Yanu. I don't really, 
I just need to know. <laughs> so I think Ben was the same way, but he fed into Liz's. He let her do all the talking, mm -hmm, hell, yeah, which mm -hmm. I would have done the same thing. And, and when I tell get, you, mm -hmm. Banu ass started singing. He just started. First of all, he started crying. Liz the the loudest canary spilled all the beans he told them everything i said he spilled the beans he told them everything <laughs> he said kenji is like a drug like a mermaid and then and tip. they called me a fool to my no, no, didn't, 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 didn't happen no. he was like oh, they, they edited they it and we I didn't see that no to fold them and hold them and they, they said i'm a fool i don't have any gameplay no they said that you were not strategic true enough they may have said you need to know when to hold them want no one to fold them yeah I, they may have said that but he he they am saying he could not get him to save his life girl he, he said he couldn't that's why i'm thinking okay maybe they did say that because he he had it he was on the right track yeah, I'm sorry. It just that train wasn't right on that track. But I knew what he was trying to say. You know, this ain't Texas. We don't hold them. Beyonce said that. But I say all that to say. Uh, uh, this, but wait, wait, wait. Did you order your box? Because I got to order my box. <laughs> <laughs> order the what? <laughs> the box for at two. You got to order your box. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. I got to get okay. it. I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm going to get it. Child, it's going to come, okay? I'm going to get it. <laughs> We're going to get it. We'll talk about that next time. But okay. So, like I said, the fool starts crying and all this. And then he says the most cheesy shit. He says, I'm not here to win a million dollars. I'm here to win a million hearts. Soon as he said that, I want to say, well, what the hell is you here for then, man? This nigga's out here broke. Philip would never say that. <laughs> Philip would never say that. He just irritated me. Once he got, once he got to talking and spilling all the tea about his tribe to these two randoms that you don't know, I was done. I was done. I was ready for him to go. I couldn't do it. None of that, right? So they had to um, draw from a hat. There were two black rocks and one white rock. The white rock didn't get the opportunity to go on to the next step to see if you wanted immunity or whatnot, right? So Liz was the one that drew the right, the white rock, which I think that works out for her. At least she didn't lose a vote. She didn't win a vote. She just didn't get no chance to. She got so much information. Like that was probably the best outcome for anybody to go. You didn't have to do anything. You didn't yep. miss out on anything. And you got all the necessary <clears throat> information to tell your tribe. That's best. In, and you, like you said, you didn't lose nothing, didn't win, but you won a whole lot. So Ben and Banu, of course, they draw the black rock. They go on to the next thing. And it's basically to complete a puzzle. If they complete a puzzle, I think they get, um, in a, they, they win, um, they get an idol. I believe so. But of course they didn't complete because it was a complicated little puzzle or whatnot. So mm -hmm. they had a sand, a sand timer. The timer ran out on it. So nor Ben, now neither Ben, or Banu won anything. They created I think, the cube. Yeah. Did they lose their vote? They lost their vote, didn't they? I believe so. Yeah, they lost their vote. That's so the now risk that they have to take. Mm -hmm. Banu is, is freaking, freaking the out fuck out. Even like, more. He is, he's just like, uh, uh, I had to take a oh deep breath. I had, to, I had to take deep breaths watching him. I just had to be like, oh my God, I am feeding into this. I need to. Yeah, it was, it was draining, it was pissing me off. I was getting so irritated. So, of course, when Ben and Liz get back to their camp, they like, bitch, let me tell you. This is the sign for gossip. Gossip, 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 gossip. Gives them, of course, you give them all the tea. Let them know, like, look here, this is what happened. I ain't win nothing. But I bet I damn sure didn't lose shit either. Let me tell you what I found out. So, you know, of course, Liz and Ben go back to their camp, give them all the tea. Banu, for whatever reason, decides that he wants to lie. You ain't been worried about lying this whole time. You want to be even now. You want to try to play some goddamn game. He decides that he wants to try to go back to the tribe and lie. And what is it he tells them? 
he goes back and he tells them that um, he drew the white rock. And so he didn't lose the vote. He didn't win anything. Basically, he just had to come back. Now, anybody watching us viewers watching him tell that he was lying. It was clear as day you were lying. Like any other time that you've talked, when you spoke, you spoke with so much conviction and and everything yeah, you said. You're, you're, you're too chill. You're too chill. Like and then you this come back and be like, well, like, drew the right rock oh, in. I mean, yep, do 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 do. No, that's, that is a lie. <laughs> I'm like, he get on my goddamn nerves. I swear, he gets Look on at my his damn little nerves. face down there. Oh my god. <laughs> But he does later on tell Q in private that he ended up losing his vote. But he didn't even really have to tell Q. Q asked him. He was like, so man, this is what happened? And then he was like, uh, uh, Q said, you lost your vote, didn't you? He was like, yes, I did. I'm like, oh, God damn. Damn. <laughs> you came off quicker than a prom dress, my nigga. <laughs> You didn't even try to fight it. You like, yeah, no. Try to fight. Mm -hmm. So, he wants to save Banu, and he wants to get rid of Kenzie. Okay, but he's like, I'd have to maybe see if I can pull Tiff in to do this as well because you brought something to to Tiffany's attention. He's like, look, see how you know. We said this last week. You see how she's floating around like she's a social butterfly she's trying to make friends with everybody and that's when tiffany realizes okay yeah when we get to the merge this bitch might just really cut me off i'm cool with her now but i'm glad that he's been having this 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 is the same like he's been noticing this since day one though yep. so it's glad that, i'm glad that he's i think it's finally landing yeah because it wasn't because tiffany wasn't open to it no. initially but now the way he put it, because she said it, Kenzie even said it, she's a social butterfly. Oh, yeah. She would, wouldn't have any qualms to try and f find new strategies if there's a merge, when there's a merge. As soon as there is a merge, and because Kenzie knows that Tiff has that idol, she is going to stab her in the back. As soon as she gets, you mark my word, my predictions have been right so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's going to screw Tiffany over. So... Tiffany needs to be careful with Kenzie. If if for nothing else, I'm sorry to say, get her ass out of here. Get her out of here. Okay. So you have um the doctor. What's his name? Propsy and the doctor come and talk with Randon. You know, they pull him to the side and well, basically they you know, get Randon in the hall, hall team and the doctor tells him that they need to, you know, pull Randon. They need to medically pull him because they need to get an MRI to see everything that's going on. They don't want to take that risk of him staying there and there could be, you know, potential nerve damage to where he'll have to get serious surgery. Now, he he was very upset. Of course, everybody in the tribe was upset. Of course, Venus is really upset because now who is what is she gonna do? And then on top of that, like I said, the interview that I seen last week with Randon, he said that he and Venus <coughs> they had talked about it. If he had to go, he was going to give her his beware advantage, but they pulled him right there in front of everybody. He didn't have a chance to get with <sighs> Venus afterwards. So that's why Venus does not have his beware advantage. Because he I didn't was get wondering about that. Okay. Yeah. He didn't okay. get the opportunity okay. to get to her. Plus, he also said that, like I said, he that he downplayed how much pain he was in. He was actually in a lot of pain afterwards. He said that it took him a while to recover afterwards from it that the pain had actually gotten worse it took him a while and that you know now he's fine he's good he said what was the diagnosis i think he was like a ooh, i don't want to get it wrong i think it was a pinched nerve i'm not mm -hmm, too mm -hmm. sure but it was something to that effect to where he didn't have to end up having major surgery he just had to do okay you know like some you know um th physical therapy or whatnot mm -hmm, afterwards mm -hmm. from that so the bad news is, you know, Randon has to get medically pulled. So that's one less person that's um, on the, the NAMI. No, is it the NAMI? NAMI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the NAMI, NAMI. tribe. Mm -hmm. So that's bad news for them. Good news for Yanu. At least 
they don't have to go to tribal council and proceeds right. ends up coming um <laughs> right when London, right yes. when right when i think q is talking to banu or no well, kendi tiffany, and banu yeah tiffany and banu were sitting down talking tiffany, and they were having a little heart tiffany to heart. tiffany yes yes and of yes course, banu ass was crying again i'm like if this motherfucker cry one more time i swear it was he becomes irritating. emotional baby every time he thinks about the game <laughs> He gets on my goddamn nerves every time he thinks about this game. I'm so, sorry, he with go. me. <laughs> he got to go. I'm sorry, he got to go. Please. He's sitting up there crying to Tiffany, and then Q comes over as well because they all feeling bad. And, you know, they see probes come up. And so, you know, that's when probes he tells them that Randon had to be pulled medically. So, because of that, there's no tribal council. Nobody's going home for the night. So, everybody's happy. Hunky Dory episode ended, you know, on a, on a sweet and sour note, should I say? <laughs> okay, I don't know why. <laughs> sweet and sour. Now, next week's episode, which is the one that's coming up, you know, this week, what caught my eye was a sneak peek. Is when Tevin said, "Soda got a goda," and I'm like, oh. I was like, oh no, what she do? Now we're playing the game. Now we're playing the game. Because when the top team starts to play the game, now we're playing the game. We got us some survivor, bitch. That's what yes. I said. I said, all right, now. <laughs> what you going to do with it? I'm anxious to see. I'm anxious to see what's going to go down with that now. Um, Banu, <laughs> please somebody get rid of Banu. I'm sorry, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but this is not his game. This is not for him. He came in with good intentions. He came in with a good heart. He came in with an open mind, but he came in with no gameplay and he came in with no strategy, uh, uh, no. no sort of strategy, a strategy. Why can I strategy? <laughs> There you go. There we go. Because okay. I couldn't get that one word get it a couple together. weeks ago. So I was like. <laughs> but he, yeah, he, no gameplay, no nothing. He's just crying and relying on his emotions and all that. He got to go. I'm sorry. But Again, that, there could have been a pop, an opportunity because it has happened in the past with Boston Rob and Philip. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's, he's Philip. I don't think he's no. the right Philip to to accuse Boston Rob. Not 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 this season. No. no. There's no. I can't take too many more episodes of Bonnie. I swear to God, I can't. I, I swear to God, I Mr. cannot take Prosy to say, drop your buffs. That's all I'm waiting for. We're yeah. not we're nowhere near there yet. No, we got at least a at we least, got at least a more three more One. episodes mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. least a good three more episodes before the merge because this is only what the third person to go home and yeah. is it going to be a merge into two tribes versus one major tribe because i think it's going to be a mini merge and then they'll go into the the main merge it could be because they're only there what 21 days i think so, so yeah yeah, it's not even like you're a survivor. How many days were they out there? What they damn near 40 days, three months or something? They was out there for a minute. <laughs> like, yes. Well, they <laughs> yes. Was out there for a minute, child. So yeah. That was Survivor, y'all. Okay. That was Survivor for this week. I give this episode a nine out of ten. It was good. I like it. It really I was good. It. I think the challenge really made it good because it, Auntie Momo saw me. I couldn't even watch who was going to get it at the end. I couldn't. I was like, oh, I can't. And I do the same where I just close my ears. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just couldn't. I get so wrapped I'm up still, in it. I'm, Tevin is still my number one pick. I love me some Tevin. Tevin, Maria. That's my I nephew. I forgot who my right third. There. I forgot who my third was. It was Tiffany or Soda. Um, I don't know about. I'm still going with Tiffany, mm -hmm, Tevin, mm -hmm, Maria, mm -hmm, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Them, them, my th Kenzie, get her out of there. She's, no, she's nice. it's just it's not it's not it. 
Uh, and then Q. But the thing about with, with Q, Q kind of gives me what a lot of the other black men on there have given me. Like the only exception to that would be Jeremy. You remember Jeremy, the firefighter? He was one of my favorites. That was my crush right there. If you ever see, yeah, his name, yeah. Jeremy, <laughs> but <laughs> let me stop. I'm not being disrespectful because he got a beautiful family, wife, kids, and all that. But and what was the other guy that went home with two idols in his pocket? I you forgot, remember? I don't know, but I know. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, let me see because what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Oh, um, uh, uh, Q is like if Denzel Washington was on Survivor. Like that's what he's giving me. Like the pep talks and like remember the yeah, Titans but coach, like, Q. But like a lot of the what, what I'm saying is like a lot of the black men that have been on there before. Like they're big buff guys, but they kind of like they sweethearts and they not really yeah. trying to. Cut, you know, hurt nobody. No, they, they really want to. They really want. Every, they want to see everyone succeed. They want to see right. people succeed. They really want a team. And that's and what it's, it's more giving me is is every other black man that's been on there before. Like you, you want the team to win. You want the team to do this, and it's like, I'm sorry, you gotta. I get that in the beginning. That's great. But Was I it James? Marcus, James. That's what it was. That's what it James was. Clement. Went home with two well, idols in his pocket. Two idols, yep. Yep. Don't, don't, don't. But <laughs> when Jeremy came back the second time, because Jeremy was on, Jeremy was on, Um, he was on there twice. It was twice or three times. Last time he was on it, he won it. First time he was on there, that's when he was on there with his wife. And the same is kind of like he gave, I wouldn't say, he, he was just very green. Didn't really mm -hmm. know what, how to play the game just yet. But when he came out that second time, Jeremy did that shit. He had a whole game plan from the get go that didn't nobody know about but him. He didn't share that gameplay with nobody or none of that. And I was proud of him. I was so goddamn happy when he won that season. But um, yeah, Q, do I see Q winning? No, I don't know why. I don't. I'm I'm sorry to say that, but I, I just I don't see Tiffany that. winning over Q or Tevin. Oh, like those top three. Yeah. Those are like I could definitely see Tevin. I see Tevin, Maria, or Tiffany winning. Or you know who else? Liz Hunter. or Hunter. Oh. <laughs> Liz or Hunter. I could see Liz winning just from her manipulating people. Exactly. And that's why I don't like her, I don't think. <laughs> Like, I don't see Venus winning just because, like, th they're intimidated by her for whatever reason. Um, yeah, Banu, Banu, Banu just need to get the hell up out of here. I can't, I can't with Banu. I can't do it. Mariah, Gemma. We don't even know much about them, you know? No. They're not just getting, they're just not getting enough airtime. Yeah, maybe to, it might come later, but from what I, I mean, see I'm right glad now. Gemma really showed up and found the advantage and that gave her a, another layer for us. Yeah. That's all we know about her. We'll see. May, I mean, you, you might surprise us a little bit later on, but from what I see right now. I hope so. Um, but yeah, that was Survivor. <laughs> you got Survivor. Last word? You know, um, <laughs> I just can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry for Randon for leaving, um, but I'm glad that he was. A, um, you know, he was level headed when he when he when he left, and he's and he even made a joke like, "Next time I'll make sure not to sleep on my hand." Yeah, but that's mm -hmm. what like Fishback was saying. Like I said in the podcast, like the, he he should have just been able to get the MRI. But I mean, in his case, like I you agree, said, it was yeah. he still needed to recover from it. But mm -hmm. why does he have to be evacuated for an MRI? Like, yeah. why does he have to be medically evacuated for that? Because there's been times before in Survivor, somebody's hurt himself that they need to get an x-ray or whatnot. Mm -hmm. They'll take him, get the x-ray or whatnot, and bring him on back. So, but I don't know. That's just my thoughts on that. But so far, this season has been good. I've, like I said, I've already yeah. got my thoughts going. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving the dynamic of the people. Um, well, not all, not everyone, but it's, it's good to see like, this is, <laughs> this is, 
<laughs> but this is this is this is a fun season, so I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah, I want to know what soda does for Tevin to speak up like I, that. You know, when sh- when he said soda gotta go to, I said Oda. Oh, no, no, no. oh girl <laughs> okay but all right y'all this has been survivor that. we'll see y'all next time soul oh, sesh soul sis survivor oh, have fun with this next week <laughs> bye y'all <laughs> bye. <laughs>